The third stimulus has passed and most Americans will have a check in their checking accounts as early as this weekend. I don't want you to let this opportunity pass you by, particularly if you are one of the Americans that didn't lose your income due to unemployment, layoff, or furlough. There are a lot of Americans that got a stimulus but still maintain their employment. If you're one of those people that don't necessarily need it to live off of, to pay your rent, to pay your bills, to pay for other expenses, I want you to I want to tell you how to build wealth with your next stimulus payment. So let's get into the seven ways that you could start to build wealth with your stimulus payment. I'm Shahida Hill, getting you over the hill to home ownership and helping you confidently buy your first home. Now, why did I have that $200,000 number in the picture of this video? It's because if you are a family of four, you've received $11,400 between the last three stimulus payments. You received two in, in 2020, you receive, you're yet to receive the third. So once you receive all three of those, a family of four would have received $11,400. If you take that entire stimulus, the $11,400, and put it in a Roth IRA for 30 years, you'll have about $226 thousand dollars so that's one thing that you can do right now you can open up a Roth IRA for maybe you your spouse and then get started saving there's a six thousand dollar a year limit um, for most incomes with a Roth IRA but you can go ahead and get started on that today or as soon as you get your stimulus if you were to take that money and take just the child per portion, the $1,400, and do nothing else with it and put it in a college fund, like a 529 college fund, your child would have about $7,000 in 18 years. If you were to add at least $100 every month, your child would have $43,000 in about 18 years. So no matter where you're starting, it might be a good idea to take that $1,400 per child and open up college savings accounts for each one of your children and add as you're able to over time. Number three, how about you buy a house? That's what this channel is all about. I know it's very competitive right now, but you'll be able to, if you have the $11,400, that's about um, a 3.5% down payment on about a $300,000 house. So that's something that you can do at least to have the full down payment to buy a house that's around $300,000. What else can you do with this stimulus? You definitely could have an emergency fund if you've never had an emergency fund before of three to six months of expenses, or you can start to build that emergency fund. You also can pay off debt. So that's number four and five. Please do me a favor. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my channel for new videos every week. Get into number six, buying an investment property. Now, $11,400 is about 7% of a property that costs about $160,000. Now, that, that 7%, that 11,400, you can use 3.5% for your down payment on an FHA loan, and you can use the other 3.5% for the closing costs um, if the seller does not contribute at all to your closing costs. So you can buy an investment property. Now, how can you buy an investment property with an FHA loan? As long as you're going to own or occupy that residence for at least one year, you can, whatever you want to do after that, you can rent it out after that 12 months has passed. So you go ahead, a lot of people, they'll use the FHA loan, they'll buy a home, they will rent that, they'll live in that home for a year, they'll rent out that home, and then they'll do it again you know, maybe two or three times until they've accumulated the investment property that they want. Now, you also could do a duplex or a triplex, up to four units. Um, and I know some places they're more likely to have multi, uh, multifamily housing at a lower price point. But if you're able to do a duplex or a triplex or a fourplex, as long as you're going to live in one of the units, you can go ahead and buy one of those as well with an FHA loan. The main point of this is that you have to own or occupy for at least one year. And then lastly, how about just investing some of the money in yourself? By earning, learning new skills, maybe going to a community college or taking a course online, such as becoming a real estate agent. I've talked in my video about 
getting your real estate license online. It costs less than $500 in most states to get it, and you have unlimited earning potential. So you could invest in yourself. It doesn't have to be real estate, but it could be something else. However, if you want to get your real estate license, please use my link in the link below. Well, I hope this, before you get your stimulus this weekend, you really think, how can I make this stimulus payment grow and build wealth over time? Thank you so much for watching, and if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my channel.